and welcome to a very special presentation of the Real Sports Repo. My partner Dion Johnson, the great one, is a little indisposed at the moment. Not a lot of a lot of baseball knowledge there, so he left this one up to me. So I will analyze your Major League Baseball World Series matchup between the Cardinals and the Rangers. No time like the present. Let's go. So we thought we'd start off since the World Series is on Fox this year. I decided, you know what? I'll give you not my player for both series, but my X Factor for both series and for the Cardinals on a lineup that has Berkman, Holiday, Pujols. David Freeze is my X Factor. He's really hot right now, the way he has been playing between the Division Series and the Championship Series. I got to tell you, I don't think there's a smarter pick right now. And as far as the Rangers go, say it with me, America. Nelson Cruz on fire in Fuego. Game-winning Grand Slam, game-winning three-run homer against Detroit. If he keeps this up, he will be the World Series MVP if the Rangers can go on to win it. Now I'm going to talk about the power that both lineups represent. With the Rangers, you have Michael Young, you have Ian Kinsler, Beltre, Young, Elvis Andrews, Hamilton, Cruz, David Murphy, Andy Chavez, and for the Cardinals, Pujols, Berkman, Fries, Punto, Berkman, Holiday, John Jay, my edge for power, though, even though they got Pujols, Berkman, and Holiday on one side, on the other side, you can't go wrong. You've got Napoli, you've got Young, you've got Kinsler, you've got Beltre, you've got Andrews, you've got Hamilton, Cruz, David Murphy. So my, for power, I go with the Rangers. Now let's talk about the pitching. For the Rangers starters, you have C.J. Wilson, Colby Lewis, Derek Holland, and Matt Harrison. For the cards, you have Chris Carpenter, Jaime Garcia, Kyle Loesch, and Edwin Jackson. The numbers speak for themselves. 14 wins for two players on the Rangers. I think you give the edge to pitching for the Rangers as well. Now I'm going to tell you who has the edge presented by Castro Edge. Let's talk about catcher. The Rangers have Napoli and Torrey Alba, and the Cards have Yadier Molina and Gerald Laird. If you're looking for power, you have to give the Rangers the edge strictly because Mike Napoli can hit the ball out at any time. And Torrey Alba's got some strength behind him too. Laird and Yadier, they like to hit for average, so I give the edge to catcher to the Rangers. At first base, you have Michael Young and Mitch Moreland against Albert Pujols and Lance Berkman. Common sense tells you that edge goes to the Cardinals. At second base, Ian Kinsler and Starting first baseman Michael Young is the backup at second base. So you've got Kinsler and Young against Schumacher and Punto. you got to go with Kinsler and Young. At third base, again, Beltre starter, but Michael Young, if anything happens to Beltre, he will move to third base and Moreland will move to first. Um, and then it's David Fries and Dishak DiCasso. For the St. Louis Cardinals, I apologize if I said that wrong. Just Kaizo. And I have to give my edge to third base. Shortstop, you've got Elvis Andrews and again Michael Young. If Andrews gets hurt, Young goes to shortstop. Moreland takes over at first. And for the Cardinals, you've got Fercal and Punto. Again, edge to the Rangers. In the outfield, you've got Hamilton, Cruz, Chavez, and Craig Gentry against Berkman, Holiday, John Jay, Alan Craig, and all Adron Chambers. If you're just going by the top two, it's a close one. But you would probably go Cardinals. But if you're going for an outfield overall depth, 
again, you got to give the edge to the Rangers. So let's recap. Catcher, Rangers. First base, Cardinals. Second base, Rangers. Third base, Rangers. Shortstop, Rangers. And outfield, Rangers. And now we will talk about who will win the World Series. Obviously, I gave the Rangers the edge at every position except first base. I gave them more power than the Cardinals. So my pick on who will win the World Series will be the Texas Rangers, and I take them in six games. And my World Series MVP, I'm going to have to take... He hasn't let me down yet. I'm going to go with the obvious pick, Nelson Cruz. So there you have it. That is my World Series preview here on the Real Sports Repo. When the World Series is over, you can join me for my World Series recap. Um, you can also join us for some other upcoming specials, the end of the NASCAR season. We will recap all 36 races and tell you why the champion is who they are. Continue to join us for our week, weekly wrap-ups and weekly previews of the upcoming and previous weeks in the NFL season. And, you know, start joining us for uh, updates as well. We're going to be putting more updates on here, including the NBA lockout, MLB free agency, NBA free agency when the NBA lockout's over. Join us for... We're going to start some weekly NHL talk here in a few weeks once the season gets rolling a little more. And anything else that breaks, you'll find it all here on The Real Sports Repo. So for my partner, who is a little indisposed, as we mentioned, the great one, Dion Johnson, I am Joshua Sears. Continue to join us here on The Real Sports Repo. We do thank you for joining us thus far. This is The Real Sports Repo, and I am out. Thank you so much.